when in reality, if I know everything about your external world, I can only predict 10% of your long-term happiness. 90% of your long-term happiness is predicted not by the external world, but by your, the way your brain processes the world. And if we change it, if we change our formula for happiness and success, what we can do is change the way that we can then affect reality. That's right, boys and girls. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why the BTS army will always win and the mating rituals of fireflies and what we can all learn from them. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, Sometimes what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture and see what we can do to improve our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, this morning I make my little morning cup of coffee and I do my little Twitter scan, see what's going on. There's a lot of trending hashtags for the Las Vegas Golden Knights as usual. And then I see this hashtag that says, Project Boy With Love. And I'm like, well that's interesting because BTS just released a song called Boy With Love, like what's going on? So I click on this hashtag to see what's going on. And the BTS army is out there doing work. All right, so what they're trying to do is get Boy With Love to be like the number one stream song over on Spotify and on other platforms. And I'm going through, I'm going through all these hashtags and I'm just seeing something just absolutely phenomenal and it is this BTS army working together to get Boy With Love to number one. And they're like using this hashtag to like share tips. Some people are saying like they purchased the song multiple times or made multiple accounts to do this and they're like saying, hey, you could do this too and da 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 da. And they're all doing this to rise Boy With Love from BTS to number one. And I'm like, huh. That is phenomenal. And it had me thinking when I'm watching this because first, like one of the reasons I'm doing these BTS videos is to see like what's going on, right? Like those of you who know me and you've been subscribed for a while, I am just like fascinated by like human nature, our behaviors, what's going on in society. I'm very intrigued by the way the mind works. So I'm watching this and I'm just like, what is going on? And it reminded me of an amazing book I read by Sean Aker. So those of you who don't know who Sean Aker is, he is a professor of positive psychology. This dude is amazing. When they see this, they say, Sean, why do you waste your time studying happiness at Harvard? Seriously, what does a Harvard student possibly have to be unhappy about? Embedded within that question is the key to understanding the science of happiness. Because what that question assumes is that our ex external world is predictive of our happiness levels. The first book of his that I read was called The Happiness Advantage. And he's very scientific. So he takes all these different studies that they've done to see what makes people happy, how to be happier. So I highly recommend that book, The Happiness Advantage. But last year, he came out with another book called Big Potential. So I didn't even know what this book was about. I'm like, oh, Sean Aker, he's the man. I'm gonna get this book. Like this dude is even like on uh, the Oprah Winfrey network like regularly, right? Talking about positive psychology, happiness, and all of that. So I get his book called Big but Potential. And his entire book is about what we can do to work together to achieve success as well as happiness in our own lives. But the whole goal of that book is working together. So. One of the things that this book starts out with is the mating ritual of fireflies, all right? So when fireflies are trying to get their groove on, okay, like what they do is you would think, you would think that each firefly would like try to be the biggest and the brightest and say, yo, look at me, look at me, I'm this bright firefly, come mate with me. But that's actually not what happens. What they actually do is, is that they, they sync up. They sync up, so rather than like flashing all like this, they sync up like this and they flash together. And their success rate of finding a mate during mating season skyrockets because they're working together. So when we look at what the BTS army is doing constantly for BTS, like they could be selfish about this. They could say, you know what? I'm gonna be the head of this BTS army. I'm gonna lead the troops. I'm gonna lead everything. Here are my ideas. This is what we're doing, right? But they don't. They all work together and that is one of the reasons why BTS is so successful and so popular and 33 year old men like me find out about it and we're like what the heck is going on because they are working together. So the point of this video is I want you to start taking a look at your life 
and, and seeing what you could do to start working with others to achieve success, all right? Because I know so many of us, we struggle with things like social anxiety, or we're introverts, or we're just like selfish and self-centered and we don't like working with other people. You know, like some of you might be college students or high school students and you hate group projects, right? But here's the thing, I am a man of science, okay? So when I look at books like Big Potential by Sean Aker and look and see what the BTS Army is doing, like you can see that it is proven that working together helps you achieve the goals that you want to achieve by working together. So for example, like in school, I know you might hate group projects, but building these relationships and working together, they are the best ways to get a higher grade, right? Think about your job, okay? Work is a very great example of this because a lot of people at work, they're trying to be the brightest firefly, right? They're trying to do everything. They're like, I want the raise, I want the promotion. I'm thinking about, you know, my family, my well-being, the things that I wanna get, my house, my car, da 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 right? And everybody at work is trying to do their own thing and shine the brightest. But think about how things would change if you started working together. Working together to impress the boss rather than being the brightest shining star at your office. See what you can do to work together, okay? The other thing that I think about regularly since I even started out on the YouTube platform, and this is something that we see a lot in just all other areas, but there are so many YouTubers out there who just wanna do this thing by themselves, right? They don't wanna collab with anybody, they don't wanna work with anybody. Like uh, a while back, like I was doing a ton of collabs, whether it was doing videos together with other YouTubers or I was bringing other YouTubers as guests over on my channel. Like one of the reasons that we don't work together with people is because of our inherent nature of being selfish and self-centered. We think that somebody else is gonna take the light away from us. Somebody else is gonna take the attention away from us. By by them giving getting some of that spotlight, it's taking away from us. And that is not true in any way, shape, or form. So a lot of people get isolative, they get very selfish and self-centered, they focus on their own thing, but that's not the way it works. And like, I wish I would see more collaborations in the YouTube community. There's a ton of YouTubers I watch and I'm just like, huh, you would work great with this person and you guys would make an amazing video. Hell, like even when it comes to like music, I love, 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 love collaborations. A great example of that is look at Marshmallow, all right? Marshmallow is absolutely killing it. This dude is a DJ, but most of his successful songs are collaborations with other people. Like one of uh, his newest collaborations, which I absolutely love because it's with one of my other favorite bands, which is Churches, right? He also did a collab with Khalid. He's done collabs with so, 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 so many people and he's rising to the top of the charts because he's working with other people rather than just trying to do this thing by himself. Do you remember when like, uh, I believe it was Diplo and Skrillex came together a few years ago and worked together? Like collaborations are the way to do this thing. And this is why we keep seeing the success of BTS as well as the BTS Army and why their new song Boy With Love is gonna rise to the top of the charts and stay there and whatever future song they have is gonna do the same because they know how to work together. All right, so I really want you to think about this stuff I, and I get it, I get social anxiety is a thing, being an introvert is a thing, but like, the other thing, the last thing I wanna say about this is this is why a support group is so beneficial. Some of you who know me, you know that I am an addict and alcoholic in recovery and you know, so many people fail at this thing. I'm one of those people. I kept failing, I kept relapsing because I wanted to do it by myself. It wasn't until I found a support group to help me through that very difficult time that I finally stayed clean. I've been clean for over six and a half years. And like, you don't even have to be an addict in recovery. You don't have to be that. Like, just a support group. Like if you're struggling with depression, find other people who are struggling with depression. If you struggle with anxiety, find other people who are struggling with anxiety. If you're somebody who's been through trauma, find other people who have struggled with trauma. This is one of the reasons why there are support groups for war veterans. There are support groups for first responders. There are support groups for uh, victims of domestic violence because everything in life is so, so, so much more difficult to do on our own. We have to remember that as human beings, we are designed to connect with other people. So when we try to do things on our own, there's a much higher chance 
of failure, all right? So go out there and find your support group and find the success that you deserve, all right? But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, get access to some perks and benefits like our monthly Q&A and all that stuff, you can click or tap right there, all right? So thank you so, so much for watching. Go out there and work together, and I will see you next time.